<laughs> Would you like to demonstrate that again a bit more successfully this time? So there's a couple of ways. So there's a couple of ways you can use to catch a sheep, and I think the firm, the farmer tried and tested way is just to cut off a ewe with a motorbike, run after it, run it down, use as many dogs as you have to just kind of chase the sheep and bring it down in a sort of controlled worrying situation. And yeah, that does work, and you will catch the sheep, but. If you want your dog to remain refined and if you've got trials or even if you just want them to be a useful worker, it's probably not the best method to use because these dogs end up getting in the mindset that if they see an individual sheep, then it means they're going to take it down. So if a ewe breaks off when you're gathering sheep, instead of running to turn it, they'll just run and tackle it. And equally, if you come to trials, when you go to shed a sheep, they're just in the mindset where they're like, right, we just need to tackle this now. So the method we use is, we do steer the sheep off the main flock with a bike, we usually steer it downhill, we usually steer it to a fence, and then we ask the dog to hold the sheep and wear it towards us. And that tends to take a little bit of the edge off the sheep, and the sheep gets more distracted by the dog that you can just kind of hook a back leg or rugby tackle them. And generally, they're usually pretty close to the quad and trailer by that point. So we'll have a look at uh, a few different catches here and show you how we use our dogs. Okay. So you can see here, we've got a lame sheep who needs her foot treated. So we're just quietly coming up behind her and moving her towards the fence and down the hill. Gray, Gray, fly down, come out, come out, come out, come out, there, Gray, hear this? Fly down. So here you can see there is obviously other sheep in the field, but the dog knows at this stage that we want this sheep in particular, and as such he ignores the sheep. He's staying just on the edge of our fight bubble, and we're just steering her against the fence here to give us a side to work from. Here I push the bike up against the fence just to give us a little bit of a right angle. It saves one more side to block. And if you see here, the dog's blocking one side, I'm blocking a side, the bike and the fence are blocking a side. Here as well you'll see the weight of the pressure is with me and the dog. Sometimes when you come to catch a sheep you might have to back up your dog's presence just because sheep can be a little bit more confrontational. So as soon as I make a grab for the sheep, I ask the dog to get on the bike. That's just to stop him getting too excited with me handling the sheep and trying to join in. <laughs> so here's another way of utilising what's in the field to help you catch a sheep. Here we're providing a bit of boundary with the gate and the quad and myself and the dog are covering the other side. You've got to make it as easy as possible because you might have to be doing this a lot at lambing time. On the bike! So you'll notice that there's more than one dog on the bike and they stay there because of their training. They know that once they've been asked on the bike they need to stay there until I ask them off and this means that we can happily do the sheep's foot without worry that the dogs are going to join in and also help. Steady. Lie down. Wait. So we have a bit of a special stick for helping us catch the sheep. It is from Pasture Tech. I'll put the link in the box below. It has a non-releasing hook on the end so that all you need to do is hook the sheep's leg and then you've got control of the sheep. So you can see just the standard here, running the sheep down the hill into a corner, utilising a fence and we should be able to catch her. 
I should also say at this point that all of our dogs that we use for catching are also our trial dogs and competition dogs. There's this common misconception that you shouldn't use your trial dogs for proper work and I think that is very much outdated and we wouldn't be keeping our dogs for trials if they couldn't do a good day's work. Lie down. We lie down. Lie down. So here you can see I just hook our leg and then I've got control of the sheep. I quickly work my way up our body to our nose because that's the best way to get control of the sheep. Ask the dog onto the bike and voila, we'll be able to trim our foot. If you look here, I'll show you how the stick unclips. Can I see the sun latch? And there you go, it's as simple as that. Good foot. Good foot. Here's Ewan demonstrating the same technique with the leg crook and just catch them with another leg. Nice one. Hopefully it recorded that. So here you can see us using a couple of dogs, but you can see that they're under control. They're not just running at the sheep and worrying it and losing control. And we're in a bit more open country, so it just made sense to use more than one dog to stop the sheep disappearing over that ledge there. So here you can see me actually miss the sheep. Gray takes matters into his own paws and tries his best to stop the sheep himself and you'll quite often find that the intelligent dogs will understand what you need and will try their best to help you out. I would have caught her a lot quicker if I got my stick caught in your jacket.